Hi, this is the Narrow Dose Ministry. I'm your Bible teacher, Minister Dennis Rogers. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Let us turn our Bible to <clears throat> Revelations chapter 13. Revelations chapter 13. Revelations chapter 13. Amen. Here at Never Hold Those Ministry, you guys know what we do. We define our words. We go back to the original text. We have the original text. The original text is the interlinear Bible. Old Testament written in Hebrew, Chaldean. New Testament in Greek. We define the word of God. We study because we want to show ourselves approved. Work men. That's what they do. They study the word of God. They need to not be ashamed. Ortho tomeo, rightly dividing, making a straight cut. This is a noun, this is a verb. This is an indicative sense. This is passive. This is subjective. This is middle voice, this third person. We rightly divide the word of truth. This is the accusative. This is the nominative. We define the word of God. We break it down so we can understand exactly what it means because it has an exact meaning. And the English language is not the language that the scriptures was preached nor taught in. Revelation chapter 13, verse number 11. I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, had two horns like a lamb, and spake as a dragon. This is Roman Catholicism is talking about. It's talking about Roman Catholicism. I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. It had two horns, two powers. One beast with two powers. Spake, excuse me, what had two horns, like a lamb, and it spake as a dragon. He exercises all the power of the first beast before, causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Roman Catholicism. He doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Deceiveth them to dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of, of in the sight of the beasts, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. He had power to give life unto the image, the representative of the beast. And the representative of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number, the number of his character the number of his authority, the number of his name. The word name is onoma. The number of his character, the number of his authority, the number of his name, the number of his onoma, the number of his character, or the number of his authority. Here is wisdom. Now, this is a revelation to the church. It's not a revelation to any man. Only the church is going to understand it, because that's what it says in the book at the beginning of the book of Revelation. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ to the church. Here is wisdom, church. Let him that hath understanding, and he has given us an understanding, that we may know him that is true. That's 1 John 5, 19 and 5, 20. The scriptures say he has given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. That's 1 John 5, 19, 5, 20. Let him that hath understanding count the number. What number? The number of the, of the beast. The number of his name. For it is the number of a man. His number 
600, three score, and six. What is the, the number of, what is his character? Six, six, six. Six, six, six is the number of man. The number of man is 666. Six, six. What does man do? Back in verse number so that he might not buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name. Mark, charisma, and name is the same thing. Mark, mark, charisma, charisma. the mark and name is the same thing. <coughs> what is the number 666? That he might not do what? Buy and sell. Buy and sell. Buy and sell. Six. 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 Eat. Drink. Buy. Sell. Strike. <coughs> Pick it. Protest. March. Boycott. Vote. That don't work, you lie, cheat, steal, receive, press. The mark of the beast. Beast is man. Six 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 is the number of man. On Psalms forty nine. Ecclesiastes chapter three. Let's go to Psalms forty nine. You can read the. Let's go to Psalms 49. Psalms 49. <clears throat> Psalms 49. Psalms 49. Hear this, all you people. Give ear, all you inhabitants of the world, both low and high, both low, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak. My mouth shall speak of wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the heart. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil? These are days of evil we're living in. These are not good days. Wherefore should I feel it, fear in the days of evil? When the iniquity of my hills, when the iniquity of man, shall compass me about. They that trust in their wealth boast themselves in the multitude of their riches. None of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him, for the redemption of the soul is precious, it ceases forever, that he shall live forever and not see corruption. He said that wise men die Likewise, the fool and the brutish person perish. Leave their wealth to others. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man, nevertheless, Psalms 49, verse number 12. 
Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beasts that perish. Man is a beast. This their way. What is their way? Eat, drink, buy, sell, plant, build, strike, picket, protest, march, boycott, vote, lie, cheat, steal, the deceive, oppress, and kill. This their way is their folly. Yet their posterity, you approve of it. That was the stupidest thing in the world for Flager to do was march on the expressway. That was dumb. John had a land in the street, closing down 79th Street. This their way is folly. That's folly. That's their way. That's man. That ain't got nothing to do with God. That's man. That has nothing to do with God at all. This their way is folly. What is their way? Eat, drink, buy, sell, plant, bill. Strike, picket, protest, march, boycott, vote. Lie, cheat, steal, deceive, oppress, and kill. Six, six, six. That's the mark of the beast. The beast is man. That's the number of man. That's their way. Psalms 49. Verse 13, this their way is their folly. Yet y'all approve of it. Yet their posterity approve their sayings. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. And their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave. For he shall receive me, Selah. Be thou not afraid when one is made rich. When the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. His honor not going after him. Hey! Ain't nothing going with you. Whatever honor you have in America, it ain't going with you when you die. You think it is. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend. It's his glory, not God's. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul. And men will praise thee when thou doest well to yourself. When you eat, drink, buy, sell, plant, build, strike, picket, protest, march, boycott, vote, lie, cheat, steal, deceive, oppress, and kill, men will praise you. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. Hell! They shall never see light. Man, 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 man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beasts that perish. Psalm 49, verse number 12, 49, and verse number 12. You go read it. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. You go read it. I think I'll be making this stuff up. You go read it. Amen. Just like the doggone beast that perish. He's an animal. He's disease and honor. Jesse Jackson, an animal. Flager's an animal. And he had all you animals on a doggone expressway. He had all you animals on the expressway. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Ain't no way no man gonna cause me to be on no expressway. Go lead and direct me like that. He's aristocratic. 
He think he's the best citizen to lead and guide y'all. That dumb Roman Catholic. He think he's the best one that's fit to lead and guide y'all. He's aristocratic. He's an aristocrat. He said, I'm the best citizen to lead and the guide to conduct and govern and manage y'all. Yeah, he a Roman Catholic. He's not a child of God, he a pagan. What's wrong with y'all? Ecclesiastic, what's wrong with you? The problem is you don't read. Thank you. The problem is you don't read. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse number 14. Amen. Amen. Ecclesiastes 3, 14. Amen. Amen. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it. You not, I don't care if you strike, picket, protest, march, boycott, and vote. You lie, cheat, steal, deceive, oppress, and kill. You can eat, drink, buy, sell, play the bill. You're not going to change God's you're not going to change God's program. Nothing can be put to it. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. God doeth that man shall fear before him. That which hath been is now. That which is to be hath already been. God requireth that which is past. Moreover, I saw unto the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, the place of righteousness, iniquity was there. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men, that God might manifest them manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. Ecclesiastes, that's three, that's injustice. Ain't no, inju ain't no justice in America. That's three, I'm going to put 16 through 18. I ain't going to read the rest of it. You go home, you go read the rest of it. You go read the rest of it. Now, I want to address this stupid man, this stupid man, what he did, Flager. He marched on the expressway for violence. You're not going to get murder out of the heart of man. It cannot be eradicated by marching. Sin cannot be eradicated by marching. Man cannot eradicate sin. Man cannot eradicate. The white man said that. John Adams said it. John Adams said it in the age of the Democratic Revolution. John Adams said, in America too, there were aristocratical passions, insatiable like all passions, pride, vanity, ambition, the love of gold, the love of praise, the love of domination, the love of position. You cannot eradicate that out of a man's heart. There were tendencies to lead, to follow, to dominate, to submit. Same thing happening right now. <clears throat> there was love of equality, also love of inequality. A desire to possess, desire to excel. Same thing happening right now. What I'm reading is uh, what was happening in between 1776 and 1779. Between white Europeans only. Since these traits... He called them traits. No, they are sins. He called them traits. He called them characteristics. No, they are sins. Since these traits, that's what John Adam called them. They didn't believe in sin. John Adam, John Adam, Samuel Adam, John Hancock, Thomas Jefferson, they was deists. Benjamin Franklin, they was deists. They didn't believe in sin. They didn't believe they had no sin. They believe they was just moral men. They believe nothing was wrong with them. Do you not know that's what Flager began? When believe Flager's a Roman Catholic. As soon as the Roman Catholics is, 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 is uh, 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 born, their parents rush them to the, to the priest when they're two weeks old. I, my mazur, my, who must give me a massage, she told me, her mother rushed her when it bought her a white dress at two weeks old. Her mother bought her a white dress at two weeks old. Took her straight to the priest. 
took the white dress off and he sprinkled water on them. I say that is Roman Catholic tradition. She said, you are exactly right. I said, because they believe as soon as they come out of that womb, they have to get to the priest and get them, get the water sprinkled on them, not dip. They never get dip. Roman Catholics do not dip in water. They go out of the womb. Soon as they can get them to the priest, the priest sprinkle them seven times with water and say they are cleansed from sin. That's what Flager believes. What is, the, what is wrong with you people? He believes you got sin. The Pope believes that. God, Lord have mercy. Flager's a Roman Catholic. He don't believe he got no sin. Water don't wash away sin. Book of Revelation said he has washed us from our sin in his own blood. He do the washing. Christ does the washing. You guys are dead. In America, too, there were arist aristocratical passions, insatiable like all passions. Pride, pride go before destruction, all the spirit before fall. That's an attribute of Satan. And they tell you you need to be proud in America. That's dumb as hell. That's the attribute of Satan. That's what got Satan kicked out of heaven. And they tell you you need to be proud of your church. You need to be proud of your children. You need to do, be proud of this and proud of that. The pride of America, the hell with America. Pride, vanity, and ambition. That's America. That was here in 1776 and 1779, you black people, before you was born. Before you got your, quote, civil rights, which you still ain't got because all of your children locked up in jail. Hmm. One out of 17 whites are in prison. One out of three American, one out of three black people make up the prison system. Understand what I just said. Now you figure it out. He's still a slave. In America too, there were in America too, there were aristocratical passions. Insatiable like all passions. Pride, vanity, ambition, the love of gold, love of praise, love of domination, love of position. There were tendencies to lead and to follow, to dominate, to submit. There was a love of equality, but also a love of inequality. A desire to possess or to excel. Since these traits could not be eradicated. They said, we can't get rid of that out of man. The white man said, we can't get that out of our own people. The white man said in 1776, between 1776 and 1789, the white European said, these traits could not be eradicated. The problem was to combine, adapt, utilize, and restrain them. No, the only one that can restrain sin is who? Jesus Christ. Christ. Thank you. Man. Psalm 76 and 10. Psalm 76 and 10. Did you get that same amen? Amen. Read up. Surely the wrath of man shall praise thee. The remainder of wrath shall thou restrain. God the only one that can, can restrain the love of money. God the only one that can restrain pride. God the only one that can restrain vanity. God is the only one that can restrain ambition. God is the only one that can restrain the love of gold. Read up. Surely the wrath of man shall praise thee. The remainder of wrath shall thou restrain. The, the wrath of man praises God. The remainder of the wrath of man, he restrained. He has not restrained the love of money and the love of gold in America. So they came up with a constitution. So that because they don't believe in God. White folks can't be governed. Let me read to you what Tom, what John Adams said to Thomas Jefferson. I'm reading to you what John Adams 
wrote to Thomas Jefferson, they was corresponding back with each other. Quote, your Aristotle, excuse me, Adams expressed the same rules in correspondence with Jefferson in later life. Quote, your Aristotle, Aristotle means your best citizens. Your Aristotle. Means best. Look up aristocracy. Aristocracy. Go look it up. Your pastor, he aris he he aristocratic. Jesse Jackson aristocratic. My auntie Bobby Steele aristocratic. Her son who just died, my cousin Spooty. He was aristocratic. Go look up aristocracy. You children need to go define some words y'all don't read. Y'all need to read. That's what got Israel in trouble with God. They wouldn't read. Y'all need to read. Just read. You won't read. Adams expressed the same views in correspondence with Jefferson, the later life. Your Aristoi are the most difficult animals to manage. John Adams called the best citizens in Virginia where Thomas Jefferson was living. He called them animals. Man is a beast. But that's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. Trump is a beast. Rahm Emanuel is a beast. Flago is a beast. He's an animal. Jesse Jackson is an animal. He's a beast. Man is a beast. Man being in honor is like the beast that perish. He's an animal. Your aristoi are the most difficult animals to manage in the whole theory and practice of government. They will not allow themselves to be governed. You cannot tell white folks what to do. White folks is not going to let nobody, including God, tell them what to do. They do whatever they want to do and they have taught it to our children. Top. John Adams rejected Jefferson's distinction between natural and pseudo or good and bad aristocracies. He said all of them evil regarding all forms of superiority, leadership, excellence, or talent as liable to much the same dangers of a bruise. He said all of them is the same. All of them will abuse. All leadership, all superior, superiority, all excellence will abuse people. That's what John Adams said in the beginning of this so-called nation. Is um, America is only 242 years old. What is wrong with us? This is an experiment. Flager is not a child of God. He's a pagan. Psalms 115. He go Flager right here. Psalms 115. Amen. I don't think Flake is. Flake is a pagan. Psalms 115. Read, Charles. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory, for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? They're going to Deus again. They're going to Deus. They're going to Europeans, huh? They're going to Deism. So don't let y'all don't ever tell me y'all ain't never seen it in the Bible. Don't neither one of y'all five ever forget this. There go deism right there. The heathen is the European. Mm -hmm. They 
go Thomas Jefferson. They go Benjamin Franklin. They go John Hancock. They go Samuel Adams. They go John Adams. Y'all ever tell me it's not here? They go deism right there. That's the heathen. Read, Charles. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? Read. But our God is in the heavens. Read. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Read. Their idols are silver and gold. They love gold, didn't they? Yes. yes. Read. The work of men's hands. Read. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are That's like... That's Roman Catholicism. They make them. Mm -hmm. The heathen make them. They make those statues of Mary. They make those statues. St. Christopher, St. <laughs> Luke, St. This, St. This, St. That, St. This, St. All of them, they make them. They that make them. Free, Charles. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. Thank you very much. Go to Psalms 135, verse 15 through 18. God help us in the name of Jesus. Flag out there marching on the expressway and got y'all out there following. He a pagan. The Bible told you to withdraw from it. But you don't know because you don't read. Amen. Read, Charles. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold. Thank you. The work of men's hands. Read. They have mouths, but they speak not. Read. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not, neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusteth in them. God have mercy mm. upon our souls. And y'all out there on an expressway with this dumb man, they ain't make the expressway to walk on. They make the expressway to get from one destination to another for cars to drive on it. Amen. Not for feet to walk on it, you knuckleheads. Yeah. And y'all let that aristocrat lead y'all out there like a bunch of fools. Y'all are dumb. Their, their way is folly. Y'all standing up in the side, honk for prayer because Hannah told you to do it. Y'all stupid. Their way is stupidity. Don't you hear what the Bible say? But y'all don't read, man. Y'all need to read y'all Bibles. Y'all don't read. Chicago protesters marching to Dan Ryan Expressway call for end to city violence. City violence. The city don't have no damn violence. The violence is in the heart of man. See, that's a misnomer. That's to throw you off. That's something. That's the devil right there. He ain't going to say to young blacks. No, no he not. Uh, he won't have no followers. He won't. If he say to young Mexicans, the Latinos, he ain't going to have no followers. So he say the city. Y'all stupid. You need to read. So he says city, city violence. He don't say, because where's the, where's the violence at in the so, city? It's in the man. In the heart where's the violence at in the city? What's outside? What's outside? What? What's outside? In the community. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with y'all? Mm -hmm. Where is the violence at in the city? In the, in the community. communities. You dog on right there in the communities. Mm -hmm. You got communities in the city. What y'all don't know that? Yes. Amen. What's wrong with y'all today? What's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all today? I said violence in the city. Mm -hmm. If I ask you what a violence at a man, where is it at all? In his heart. Thank you very much. What are you talking about, Charles? I said where's the violence at in the city? I did not say where's the violence at in a man. It's a difference. Where is y'all at this morning? Y'all need to read and study. I didn't say where the violence at in a man. I said where the violence at in the city. It's in the community. So he ain't gonna name no one community because the bastard won't have no followers mixing. Y'all dumb. Y'all wanna read y'all Bibles and see how, how crooked that serpent is. He's 10 times wiser than Daniel. Flager is a serpent. Jesse Jackson is a snake. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all don't read. Go to, go to Deuteronomy 31. Deuteronomy 31. Quickly. How much time I got? All right. Deuteronomy 31. Y'all need to read. 31, verse number 11. Read up. 
When all Israel is come to appear before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose, thou shalt read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Gather the people together, men and women and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates, that they may hear and that they may learn and fear the Lord your God and observe to do all the words of this law. And that the children which have not known anything may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as ye live in the land whither ye go over Jordan to possess it. What is wrong with our children? They know nothing. They Amen. know, why they don't know nothing? Why is it they do not know nothing, huh? Let's see. Why is it they don't know nothing, Mike, Michael because, Singleton? Because they parents. Wrong. Why is it they don't know nothing, the, uh, man? Not why is it? What? Wrong. Why is it they don't know nothing, Glenn? Uh, sin. Why they don't know nothing, huh? They, they don't read. They, they don't, don't read. read. Mm -hmm. I just told it to you guys Amen. last Thursday. Y'all did not study like I told you to, mm -hmm. so that's why the Bible you don't know. You don't study. So you think you know because you're at the Nettle Dose Ministry and it just manifests. You don't know either. So you not read like they ain't read. And I just told it to y'all. Yes, you you got to read. Mm -hmm. Why is it that our children don't know nothing, huh? They don't read. He didn't tell them to, uh, to strike the No. Tell them to pick it? No. Tell them to protest? No. Tell them to march? No. Tell them to boycott. No. Tell them to vote. No. What did he tell them to do, huh? Read. Did he tell them to lie? No. Cheat? No. Steal? No. Deceive? No. Press? No. Kill? No. What did he tell them to do? Read. Why? So they may know. Why? So they may know. Why? Why did he tell them to read, man? Why did he tell them to read? Stop, Mike, when I ask you, I ask you. Don't you do that no more. Why did he tell them to read? Uh, 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 why, why do they have to read? Uh, uh. Charles? So they may hear. Whoa! Why the they need to read, Glenn? So they know. Why they need to read, Mike? To learn to fail. Whoa! The Lord. Why they need to read, huh? Why oh. they need to? They don't no, no. know nothing. Mm -hmm. oh, you can't. You need to learn how to read. It told you. Look at it and read it again. Mm -hmm. Read, Glenn. What verse? You know he lost. Read, huh? When all Israel comes to a no, the scripture would read, huh? Read. Okay, read, Charles. When all Israel's come. No, the scripture with the word read. That is. The that, 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 I want the scripture where it says yeah. they don't know nothing up at that topic, verse number 13. I know okay. where is it at. Verse 13. Thank and you. That, mm -hmm. And that their children. Thank which, you. That which, their children. Which mm -hmm. have not known anything. Which have not known anything. That's the point of the whole verse, y'all. Okay. That's the key verse. Verse 13. Am I right? Yes. yes. I know it. I ain't even got my Bible over and I ain't even over there. Because I read. Why do they need to read, huh? So they know. Bro, why they need to read, man? Because they know nothing. Thank you, because they don't know nothing, huh? They need to read because they don't know nothing. They, they, if they read, they'll know they didn't have to do what, Eric? If they read, they know they ain't have to do what, Eric? Pick it. If they read, they know they wouldn't have to do what, Eric? Protest. If they read, they know they don't have to do what, Eric? March. If they read, they know they don't have to do what, Eric? Boycott. If they read, they know they don't have to do what, Eric? Vote. If they read, they know they don't have to do what, Eric? Lie. To what? Eat. Cheat. To what? Drink. Steal to what? Buy. Deceive to what? Sell. <laughs> Oppress to what? Glad. Kill to what? Build. They know they don't have to do that if they did what, Eric? If they read. Thank you very much. What is it you guys over there not understanding? If they read, what would they do if they read? Look at that verse with no nothing. If they read, what would they do? Fear the Lord. Thank you yeah. very much. If they read, they would fear the Lord. What's wrong with y'all? When I taught it to all five of y'all over there, they don't know nothing. So when the beast tell them to strike, what they do, Eric? They strike. When the beast tell them to march, what they do, Eric? They march. They dumb. Because the beast.
beast is a man. So men say we need to what, Eric? Lie, cheat, steal, deceive, oppress, kill. That don't work. We'll do what, Eric? <laughs> we'll strike, picket, protest, march, boycott, vote. So we can eat, drink, buy, sell, plant. Bill. That's what man told him. 666, six, six, six is the number of man. The mark of the beast. Psalm 49, verse 12 through 20. Beasts is his man. Ecclesiastes 3, 16 to 18. That's what, the, uh, the, that's what aristocracy tell him. Aristoy is the best. What did the Europeans do, Eric? Strike, picket, protest, march, boycott, vote. Against who, Charles? Against England. Thank you very much. And that didn't work, did it? No. They did all that so they can do what? Eat, drink, buy, sell, plant, and build. So they begin to what? Lie, cheat, steal, deceive, oppress, and kill. Thank you very much. That's how America got started. Mm -hmm. That's how America got started. America was started by the beast. Man that is an honest like the beast that perish. Our children need to read because they don't what I know anything. Because they don't know nothing. If they read, what would happen, Van? They would uh, fear the Lord. Thank you very much. It's so simple. You ain't got to go no farther. If they read, they would fear the Lord. They know they don't have to march. Amen. They wouldn't be out there with dumb flavor. They wouldn't be following Jesse Jackson. They would know they don't need Jesse Jackson and flavor. They don't need Jesse Jackson and flavor to what? Eat, eat, drink, drink buy, buy, sell, sell plant, plant build. build. They don't need the, who they need? The fear of the Lord. They need the fear of the Lord. Look at your Bible, fear of the Lord. Amen. All five of y'all, that's the correct answer. Amen. Amen. What do they need, Ock? To fear the Lord. Thank you. And they're only going to find that out by what, Van? Reading. Thank you very much. It's so simple. What is wrong with y'all over there? That's all they got to do is read, mix it. That's all they got to do mixing is read. They mamas don't read. They daddies don't read. Sisters don't read. Nobody reads. Deuteronomy 17 and 9. Nobody reads mixing. They follow the beast. They got the mark of the beast mixing. Amen. Read. And thou shalt come unto the priests. The Levites and unto the judge that shall be in those days and inquire, and they shall show thee the sentence of judgment. That's 1719? You said 19? Yes, I did. Read 1719. Okay. 1719. And it shall be with him, and he shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord. Who is that? That's the Levite. Bro, who is that? The children. Who? The children. Oh, Lord have mercy. Boy, y'all messed up today, ain't y'all? Yeah. The priests and the Levites. Hold on, man. Hold on. I think both of y'all wrong over there. That's Deuteronomy 17, right? Yes. 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 Right? Yes. yes. Deuteronomy 17, 19. Yes. Amen. That's the king. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you, Charles? What's wrong with you today? Verse number 14, when thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee and shall possess it, shall dwell therein, shall say, I will set a king over me. What is wrong with y'all today? Like as all the nations that are about me. Thou shalt set, thou shalt, I mean, it's Deuteronomy 17, 15. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thou shalt in any wise set him king. Second time he said king. Over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose one from among thy brethren, shall thou set three times king over thee, that thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not your brother. He, the king, this is what got Solomon in trouble. He did not what? Huh? Read. Read. Solomon, if Solomon would have read, he wouldn't have had 700 wives. 300 concubines. He didn't what, Ark? Read. He shall not multiply horses. Did he do that? Yes, yes. yes he did. Yeah. Nor cause the people to return to Egypt. Did the king do that? Yes, yes. they yes. did. In the days of Jeremiah. How you? How I know that, Ark? Because you read. Thank you very much. That's how I know it. Because I read. And I keep telling you guys, y'all need to read. 
He shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt. To the end that he shall multiply horses for as much as the Lord hath said unto him, You shall henceforth return no more that way. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself. This is exactly what Solomon did then. Yes. Mm -hmm. That his heart turned not away, neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. This is what Solomon did then. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. It shall be when he sitteth upon the throne. Who is it talking about? The king. The king. king. Of his kingdom that he shall write. Uh oh. Uh, not only did he have to read, he had to write a copy. Of this law in the book, out of that which is before the priests and the Levites. Take the book, mix it from the priests and the Levites. You king, you ain't got no time to be chasing no women if you're sitting down writing a copy of the law. Talk to me, Eric. Amen. See, he can't be chasing no women in, Cleo. If he's sitting down studying, mixing, he'll know how to rule right. Jeremiah, if he's sitting down writing a copy of the law, he won't have his mind on no women. Y'all won't read. Y'all don't know what man is doing to you because you won't read. And it shall be when he sitteth upon the throne of his kingdom that he shall write him a copy of the law in a book out of that which is before the priests of the Levites. It shall be with him and he shall what? Read. 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 Yeah, read. Why are you going to read? Why is he going to read? To learn. To learn. That he may learn. May learn. Mm -hmm. Yep. He may He's going to read so he can learn. Children, y'all need to read so y'all can learn what Flager and Jesse is doing to y'all. All you so-called newly coming up young civil rights leader, go sit down somewhere and find you a book and read. You don't know what you doing. Y'all could have traded Von Martin could have been alive if he read. Rest of them young ones could have been alive if they read. They had no fear of God in them. None. They don't know nothing. Our children don't know nothing. They don't have no fear of God in them. Your parents don't have none. Flager don't have none. Jesse don't have none. Your pastors don't have none. The preacher don't have none. A Alik don't have none. That funeral home over old Halston. None of y'all have no fear of the Lord in y'all. None. Because you don't read. Farrakhan don't got it. He don't told you it's the white man's book. Y'all going back on the internet, Instagram. It's the white man's book. It's the white man's book. I ain't reading that book. That's right. Don't read it. Don't read it. And he's going to keep killing you. He's going to keep killing you. Because you got the wrong mark. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 9. You got the wrong mark. You got the mark of the beast and not the mark of God. Ezekiel chapter 9. Let me get this in. Ezekiel chapter 9. Amen. 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 Ezekiel chapter 9. He cried also unto my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near. Every man with this destroying weapon in his hand. He bringing the Chaldeans up on Jerusalem. Behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lied toward the nothing. Every man slaughtered a weapon in his hand. How many men is it? Uh? Six. And one man among them. How many is it now? Five. Seven. 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 It didn't say one man out of the six. Oh, it yeah, say boy. one man among. Oh, man. It did not say one of the six. It said one man among the six men. How many is that? Uh, what's it? Seven. Thank you. And one man among the six. In the midst of the six. Amen. Not out of the six. Uh, Amen. If I come over there, it's five. Mm -hmm. And it'd be one man among y'all that's going to make how many? Six. Thank you. It didn't say one out of the five. Mm -mm. Not six. Did it? No. no. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's inkhorn by his side. It's six because that's the beast. Oh, that's man. Oh, okay. Good. Did you understand that? Yes. Six is the number of man. Amen. That's what it told you in Revelation. Mm -hmm. He doth under he doth have wisdom, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Here is wisdom. Let he that have understanding. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what it said over there. The number of man is six. So he ain't going to get over here and change it to five. No. Amen. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. Y'all need to read and pay attention, man. <clears throat> he had the writers in going by his side. There when it stood beside and, and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of the God of Israel. That's what man hates. They hate the God of Israel, Nixon. Was gone <clears throat> up from the cherub, whereupon he was, to the threshold of the house. He called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. The other six had a sword, Doc. Mm. He got an inkhorn. Hello? Amen. Am I right about it, Doc? Yes. All right. Six men came from the way of the higher gate, Doc. Mm. Go to Jeremiah 39 and 13. Jeremiah 39 and 3 right quick so I can prove it to you, Doc. Hurry up, Doc. Go to Jeremiah 39 and 3, Doc. How many times, much time I got? Go to Jeremiah. Five minutes, I need more time. <laughs> Come on, Doc. Uh, Amen. You can count? Yes. You can count? Yes. You can count? Yes. All right, Jeremiah 39 3. Read. And all the princes of the king of Babylon came in and sat in the middle gate, even Nergel Ner Sh Sharazir. Do the best you can. Come on, man. Sam Gar Nebo, Sh Shakshim, Rab Cyrus, Nergel Sh Shazir, Rab Mag, with all the residue of the princes of the king of Babylon. All right, how many men is that all counted? That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so you got it? Yes. All right, then. So we got seven men, right? Yes. Now those are the six men he's talking about yeah, over yeah, here. And he's like, you got it? Yes. Give me some. Give me some. Oh, Bam. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Yes. All right. I know that up. You read. <laughs> <laughs> you got to read. That's why they can't deceive me, because I read. I believe I'm elect. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God, sanctify through sanctification unto obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. You can't deceive me. I'm elect. Can't deceive me. It's not possible for me to be deceived by the beast or by man. It's impossible. I got the mark. I believe I got the mark. Here we go. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the what? City. City. Through the midst of what? Jerusalem. Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of the United States of America. Amen. How you like that, Ark? Amen. And to the others he said in my hearing, go you after him through the city, smite. Go through the city of Jerusalem. Go through the city of Chicago. Everybody that don't had a mark smite. The white man is the sword in God's hand to cut down the black man because he won't repent. He got the mark of the beast. One. Out of every 17 white men are in prison. One out of every three black men make up. Talk back with me, mix in the prison Amen. system. Mm. You understand what I just said? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and to others he said in my ears, go ye after them through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. I'm going to read this very slow. Slay utterly old young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man up on whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. Begin at the Baptist church. Begin in Roman Catholicism. Begin at Apostolic Pentecostal, those who profess to be Christians. Start with them, because they profess to be my people. But they, but they lie, cheat, steal, deceive, oppress, 
and kill, they strike, they picket, they protest, they march, they boycott, they vote, they eat, they drink, they buy, they sell, they plant and build. They have no fear of me. They got the number of man. They got the mark of the beast. The beast is man. They follow, they follow Flager, that Baptist preacher. They won't read. They don't know me. They don't know nothing. They have no fear of me. So, Ezekiel 9, 6, slay completely, utterly, old, young, maids, little children, women, kill them all. Slay utterly old, young, both maids, little children, women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Begin at my church, those who say they are called by my name. Those who say they Christian, go to my sanctuary. They profess that they know me. Judgment begins at the house of God. That means those who profess Christianity. You go around calling yourself a child of God and you got the mark of the beast. And you call yourself a child of God. Slay utterly old and young. Maids, little children, women, come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Begin at my sanctuary, then they begin at the ancient men. They begin at the ancient men, which were before the house. Turn the page over, Op. Turn the page over. Okay. Go over to the go over to verse number. Uh go to verse number. Verse number six, Op. Read. Eleven six. You have multiplied your slain in this city and ye have filled the streets thereof with the slain. I eight six. I said go over. Oh, sorry. Eight six, read uh, Charles eight six. I said go over. You at nine. I said Amen. go over to verse six. Go eight, six. over. Read Charles. He said furthermore unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here that I should go far from, excuse me, far off from my sanctuary. He left the sanctuary. If you go over to verse number three, go over to three. Go Amen. over to three, nine, three. That's where he left the sanctuary at. Read, up. Uh, and the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub. Thank you. He just left. Go back over to nine, the eight, six. Read, Charles. He said furthermore unto me. I know that, up. Uh, because you read. Thank you. Read, Charles. He said furthermore unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do? even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. Go down to verse number 11, so you can see the ancients. Read verse 11. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. Go back over to uh, chapter number 9, and read verse number, and look at verse 6, the last part of verse 6. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. How I know that, Ock? Uh? Because you read. Go back over to chapter 8 and verse number 11. Read, Ock. Uh? And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel, and in the midst of them stood Yahazaniah, Yahaz the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. They not priests, they ain't got no business in there. Talk back with me. Mm -hmm. They're not priests. Verse number six, Ezekiel 9, 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, women. Come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. He said unto them, defile the house, fill the court. He ain't there, Ah. Uh. He ain't there. He gone. He gone, Ah. Uh. It ain't going to defile it if he's there, but he gone, Ah. Uh. He left in verse number three, Ah. Uh. Talk back with me, Ah. Uh. He said unto them, defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth, and they went forth to slew in the what? City. It came to pass while they were slain them, I was left, that I fell upon my face and cried and said, Oh, Lord God! But thou destroy all the residue of Israel and the pouring out of your fury upon Jerusalem. Then said he unto me, the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great. And the land is full of blood, the city is full of perverseness. For they say the Lord hath forsaken the earth and the Lord saith not. Who are them? 
this. 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 And as for me also, my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have what? Pity. Pity. That I will recompense their way upon their what? Pity. And behold, the man clothed with linen, which had the inkhorn by his side, reported the mouth, saying, I have done as thou hast what? Commanded, Commanded me. me. 